plastic flamingos. Some call them tacky. Others say they're a necessity for any respectable 20th century lawn. Invented in 1957, rumor has it one use for these pink plastic flamingos was to tell which house was yours in a sea of identical post-war tract homes. These icons of mid-century kitsch were designed by Don Featherstone, and they're still made today. In fact, authentic examples bear his name on the bottom. We're gonna make our own homage to the pink plastic flamingo out of a material that also built America, steel. So I've got a rough sketch of what our sunglass wearing pink flamingo is gonna look like. Now we're gonna transfer that design onto the steel we'll be making him out of. Okay, so he's got sunglasses and he's got a wing and I'm gonna add some details here by his tail just to make him look a little bit more realistic. You know, cause that's what we're going for. And now we're gonna cut out our flamingo using this. And for the details, I'm gonna use a pair of tin snips. Now that we've got all our pieces cut out, we're gonna start welding them together. I'm gonna to be honest with you, I'm not very good at this. Pros say that welding thin metal together like this, you need to do tiny little spot welds or else you're gonna blow holes in your material. So let's give it a try. Well, if you wanna know how to punch holes in sheet metal with a welder, that's how you do it. Not that great. I'm gonna end up having to do body work on my flamingo. We're gonna mix the two parts together and try to fill in the holes. We're ready for paint. Well, I don't know what else to say. If you've never seen a pink flamingo made out of steel before, now you have. John Prentice, Seattle, Refined.